And Pat Croce joins us live now. Pat, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for that introduction. Are you kidding me? Wow, we couldn't put it all in <laughs> one particular package. You have had so many lifetimes, and you're only 53 years old. Just starting. Are you kidding me? You know that. <laughs> 50s is when you start. And happy birthday, by Thank the way. Thank you so much. We I are love so birthdays. pleased to have you here. And I thought, you know what? When I'm kicking off this fabulous N50 men series, I couldn't think of anybody that I would rather start with because when I think of a role model or someone who could motivate not only men but women, people of all ages, I absolutely think of you. Are you having a good time in your 50s? Oh, a great time. A great time. As I said, I'm celebrating my 30th anniversary with my wife Diane this weekend. This was my high school sweetheart. I have two lovely kids. My, my family's getting bigger. My son got married this past year, so now I got a daughter-in-law. We have a two-year-old grandchild. I see you talking about your grandchildren. Yeah. I got a granddaughter who turned two yesterday, and my daughter Kelly right now is two centimeters dilated with a grandson <laughs> as we speak right now. Hold it. No, I'm not there. Don't go yet. Yeah, really. Isn't it great? Ah. I have to say the one fabulous thing that has happened to me since I turned 50 is becoming a grandmother. And people say, oh, I can't believe that you would admit that or being a grandmother equates being old. And I'll tell you, nothing has in enhanced my life more than being a grandmother, even having my own children. It's something about looking into the eyes of these grandsons and knowing that there's a piece of me that's going to live on. And I'm telling you, it just absolutely energizes me. Lynn, I can't I can't agree more because I am smitten. We sound like old people here talking about <laughs> our grandchildren, but we're young. That's what's so cool. We're young 50s and we can do everything from playing activities with them to taking them to the boardwalk to doing anything. Things I may not have done with my kids because I was working. Right. And that's the thing is that we were so busy when the kids were born that, you know, trying to make a living and trying to, to get their future secured. Now I am truly enjoying the time that I have with these babies. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm totally and in not, love. And <laughs> not to say that you can walk away too. Yeah. Okay, enough. Yeah. <laughs> Later. <laughs> now, you mentioned that she is dilated, yep. ready to give birth again. What was it like when the first one came? Were you there? Were you part of it? Lynn, funny you ask. It was horrible because I was in Dallas giving a motivational speech to a big company, and my wife was giving me emails as I'm going on stage. Oh, it's rough. It's rough. She's having a rough time. I'm thinking, oh, oh no. no, and I got to go out and fire up 2,000 people, and then I jump on the plane. No, she's still pushing. She's still pushing. I get on the plane. I land. The first thing, it's a girl. Yeah. Oh. I'm like screaming <laughs> on the airplane. Yeah. Turn that off. Yeah. Now, that's funny because I could just see you in the in the labor room. Come on, girl. Oh, you can do on, it. Bitch. You can do it. This is great. <laughs> You're doing great. Talk about a time to be a great motivator. motivator. I was actually asked by my daughter and son-in-law to be in the delivery room, and I was absolutely enamored with the whole experience. I couldn't believe it. It was just amazing. And I thought I would like maybe, you know, melt down or I wouldn't want to see my daughter uncomfortable or whatever. But I have to tell you, she was a trooper. She was great. And I, I couldn't wait. I was like, push You're that crazy. baby out. You are crazy. <laughs> oh, my wife fabulous. was with my son-in-law, Jeff, there. Not me. I don't want to see my daughter in that kind oh, of pain. No. It was good, though. It was good. I she... could barely handle it when my wife gave. I think I walked out of the room, threw up, and came back when she was there. <laughs> see, I don't think I remember when I had my own kids. So this, I remember every moment, you know, when my daughter had babies. 